over here to images on the page and today I'm going to be doing um, a three month wrap up mostly because I haven't been reading a lot of books and so I didn't see the point in doing a wrap up when I only had read like one book a month um, so I'm doing the wrap up for April May and June I actually had to go look some of these up because I do not remember them so on so in like the beginning week of April I finished Shadow's Edge by S.C. Wynn and I honestly I had to look in Goodreads to even remember because I didn't even remember what it was about or anything. It's kind of about a psychic who helps a detective solve murder cases to boil it down. I I think I liked it. I mean it's got stuff in it I like but I, hon I honestly don't remember it. The second book I read in April was To Play the Fool by Laurie R. King. It's the second book in the Kate Martinelli series and I actually really enjoyed this um, but it was very slow going because it was um, trying to solve the murder of this homeless guy and they were following this guy who likes to be like the fool but it's like a capital F O O L fool kind of like if you've read Robin Hobbs books kind of like that fool but he only talks in quotes um and so they have to try to get out of him and it was a lot about Kate the main character kind of really delving into the history and the phenomenon of fools um and foolishness and so that was really interesting but it was like the first half was kind of about the murder and the last half and everything in between was about something else and so I did really enjoy it but it wasn't really what I had expected going into it the only book I read um, in the month of May was the Emperor Mage it's actually a reread for me it is the third book in the Immortal series by Tamara Pierce. I reread it because I had recently read Tempest and Slaughter and that's when we meet. Um, so Tempest and Slaughter was Numair's story back when he was in Karthak and we see Ozorn as he was as a kid in Tempest and Slaughter and in Emperor Mage we see as he, he him as he is an adult. So I just kind of wanted to reread it to kind of refresh my memory and like kind of guess I guess how he went from as he was as a kid to how he is as an adult. Now I read two books in June and I DNF'd one book. So the one book I did DNF was The Bones of Others by Vicki McKeon. Um, I was just not really into this book. I was really interested in it because it's about this girl who's kind of on this vigilante quest um, to re... Um, to kind of um, find the guy who kidnapped and raped her as she was as a kid because he's still out there doing this to other little girls and she's determined to find him so he can stop doing it. I had a really hard time with it because of so like one of the main characters is Sky Cree um, the other one is Jason I can't even remember his name now um, but he's like this big shot gaming dude um, who has this big gaming company and my biggest issue was like, at least in the beginning, so she's Native American, but like the biggest thing that was like, he just kept extolling about how pretty she was and like it felt like the only reason he was attracted to her was because she was exotic and because of her Native American heritage. And I didn't really see any of her actual Native American heritage play into her as a character besides his interest, his sexual interest in her, which was really uncomfortable for me. I got to see it a little bit later because she has the spirit animal that helps like helps her find these and it goes back to her history as part of her Native American tribe but like and then and it was and another issue I had with Jason Josh his name his name is Josh I wrote it down oops was that he would like go on and on about how sexy she was and then like there'd be a line that the author put in there like oh but she's also independent and fierce and all this like trying to make us believe that he's a good guy and like a feminism like and that it's like a feminist book or like empowering women book and it is not that at all by any means because 
throughout, I don't even know how long I got into it, like the first third of the book, and it could change, but like the first third of the book, it's basically him just being sexually attracted to her and um, having to remind himself that he's these other things. And I, it just really, really pissed me off. There, um, so as I said before, she was kidnapped and raped as a kid, and there's a part where in the book, like to herself, she's like, well, she's basically like, I just need to get over it. It's been long enough. I, sh it shouldn't still be traumatizing me. And I think that's all utter bullshit. That is not how trauma works. And I just didn't like that that was a message that she was saying to herself because like, like they talk a little bit in the beginning how she did therapy and that really helped, but like she stopped it and like, I got this feeling throughout the whole book that she was just supposed to get over it. Like it wasn't, it shouldn't have this hold on her because it was like 10 years later or something like that. And it's just, no, <laughs> no. And the actual two books I did finish was Pretty Monsters by Kelly Link. This was a really interesting thing because they're actually short stories. Um, they were really cute. They're more like sci-fi or more sci-fi like futuristic type novels. Um, but one of the coolest things that I found was how the fictional world interacted with reality and like how some of the stories, the actual fi fictional characters that the people were reading about or TV shows they were watching would actually then interact with the real character. So it was kind of like this mind game about like what is really reality and what is fiction. And it was just really cool. Um, they all kind of had that theme running through, but none of them are actually connected, at least as far as I could tell. And the last book I actually read in June was Openly Straight by Bill Koningsberg. This was a really huge surprise for me because I picked it up because I DNF'd The Bones of Others. And I just needed something to listen to in the car and I'd heard really good things about this from Adriana over at Perpetual Pages and I was like I'll give it a shot and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I actually got so into it that I I was looking to an audiobook so I rented the ebook from the library and then um, finished it that night after work and then made sure to buy the physical copy and I immediately started listening to the second book Honestly Ben. And I'm hoping to finish that this month. Well, those are all the books I've read in the last three, mo three months, which is not many at all. And so hopefully this next month goes better because I actually have eight books planned. And until the next video, ta-ta for now.